been a while since we've done an unboxing here at the channel, so I wanted to share with you an item that I saw advertised on Facebook, put out by Yacht Devices. This is a company that puts out sensors and relays for your NEMA 2000 network. And the item that I decided to get was their NEMA 2000 router. This particular item uh, plugs into your NEMA 2000 network and allows you to read the data on your cell phone or tablet. Here are some screenshots I took directly from their website. Once you log into the router, it has four different screens that you can bring up that are fully configurable. So here in this example, you can see your speed over ground, your course heading, and your wind data. I thought it would be interesting and maybe more cost efficient to use this system as opposed to buying uh, dedicated head instruments now that are starting at about $600 a piece. There are many computers now. They do everything that your main chart plotter does except for being able to display charts. With that said, I went ahead and ordered one, waited for it to come in, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I opened the package and looked at the box and everything seemed to be pretty professionally presented. I did turn on the end of the box and notice that the product was manufactured in Lithuania and was shipped through Russian mail. So if you've got any issues with that, maybe you don't want to get one of these, but I figure what the heck, if the Russian government wants to listen in on my NEMA 2000 network, they can go ahead and knock themselves out. Inside the box you see the following items here. The unit itself, which is about the size of a pack of cigarettes, the instruction manual, and some mounting screws. Here we see the side of the unit where it has the ability to listen and display on your screen CTOC information and NEMA 0183 information as well. Well, that's the unboxing. I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to get this out to the boat, hook it up, and see how it works. So if you want to learn more, tune into our next vlog and we'll see what happens. We'd like to take a break here at the channel from all the action and ask you if you enjoy what you see here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, give us a thumbs up. The positive feedback is always enjoyed. With chain plates and hardware in hand, it was time to dry fit everything. The first step in that was removing the protective tape that I had over the holes to keep water out of the boat. With the holes exposed, the next step was to clean up everything with some acetone so that after the dry fit, it'd be ready to receive sealant. Here is an example of the dry fit with the hardware. I went around and did this for all 14 chain plates. My last task for this weekend was to remove all of the old rigging and get it ready to take back to the recyclers. Here you see it all tied up, ready to go into the trunk, which concludes my time here at the boatyard for this week. As always, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping in, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscription. We'd really appreciate it.